This presentation got so much attention on my social media, so I decided to do a long version on how I did it. And you today gonna learn how. My name is Baikasem and welcome to the PPT Pro. So before we start, the course is on its final stage. I just wanted to share with you some shots of the learning process. We have put so much effort on the course and we worked very hard day and night so we can come out with a product that we are proud of. The course will include the most of PowerPoint features, merging shapes, animation, 3D animation, transition and more. It's designed for those who has no knowledge on PowerPoint to those who are familiar with the software but want to go to the next level. So enough said, let's start our tutorial. So here's the plan of the tutorial. First, we're gonna be making the circle of numbers, then the slice design, and finally the animations. So we're gonna start by making the background black. Let's choose the usual black like that. Then I'm gonna insert the numbers from 1 to 18. So this is 1 and I'll change the color to white so I can see the numbers. I'm gonna delete the space and the number and start all over again. So this is 1 and you will need to tap 5 spaces and tap the next number. So I'll do this until the number 18. So don't be exhausted of the work because it's totally worth it. So I'll speed this up so we can move to the next step. Lovely jubbly, the numbers are ready. So let's change the font to General Sense Semi Bold, our favorite one right there then i'm gonna apply a effect on the numbers so let's go to shape format let's go to text effects transform and choose the circle one so let's change the box dimension to 2.67 and 2.67 as well because it's a circle it must be equal a smart man over here yeah so the circle is nearly ready we need one more step so let's make it a shape so to do that let's insert a rectangle like that we're gonna cover all the numbers then select both go to shape format mesh shape and hit intersect let's remove the outlines then paint them in white now they are ready lovely jubbly let's go to the next part so to do the design of the slides i'm gonna grab first the visual as you can see those ground lines and I'm gonna put them on my presentation. So I'm gonna choose a good position so they can target the number. And I send them to back as well. Nice. So I'm gonna go back to the presentation and grab that blue circle. Everyone know how to insert a circle. So there is no importance on doing it here yeah and i'm lazy <laughs> nah so let's insert a arrowhead as you can see let's do some modification nice now it's looking elegant let's remove the outlines and turn it into white and trigger it to the circle nice perfecto so next let's insert the pictures 
I'm gonna insert only three pictures but if you want you can insert up to 18 so here's our our three pictures a beautiful ones there you go I'm gonna take them out of frame then bring one to the frame this one it's in Copenhagen I'm gonna choose a good position for the picture right there good sizing nice so after that I'm gonna duplicate the slide two times the first one and the second one then I'm gonna replace that picture with the second one so I'll remove this one and put the second one at the same position or a little bit different there is no difference so I'm gonna choose a nice position for it or just put it there and let's remove this one as well and this one and let's put that beautiful sky on our slide frame lovely jubbly this is a little bit wide so let's make it thin and now i can say lovely jubbly so let's clean up the slides and move to the next step So I'm not gonna bother with creating all over the title. So I'm gonna grab them from the already done presentation and put them on our presentation here. So you are wondering why it has that black background. So it's easy, just go select the title and go to shape format and shape fill. On the shape field select the black color so as you can see it's colorless and now it has that color the black one so i'm gonna copy paste the text also and put it right there under the title and then i'm gonna do the same with the other slides We will do the same thing about the maps. I'm a bit lazy. Nah, I just want to save time. So here's the map and here's how to get that anchor point. I think they call it like that. So go to icons, tap location. Sorry, I'm going to delete the zero. Then click on that anchor point and put it where the location is so mine i'm gonna put it over there lovely jubbly and then i'll give it the blue color now you know how i did it so i'm gonna copy paste the other maps from the already done presentation so this is the second one let's copy it by ctrl c then I think control V so it will be perfectly in place this one as well nice now we are finished with the design of this presentation now let's move to the animation part So on this section, we're gonna start by selecting all the slides by hitting Ctrl A. Then go to Transition and choose Morph. So guys, it's so important to have the 
2019 version or the latest one. So I select all the slides again and turn the duration into one second. Now what I'm gonna do here is to copy paste the picture of the first slide then paste it on the second slide and move it to the right a little bit go to picture format send it to back then send the visuals to back also then go to picture format crop then hide it like that nice so now I'm gonna bring the second slide picture and put it on the first slide but now I'm gonna put it on the front so from here let's move it to the left a little bit then go to crop and hide it lovely so from here the first and the second slide are done let's get a quick test perfect so let's move to the third one so i'm gonna copy paste the second slide picture and put it on the third one send it to back then send the visual to back select the picture go to picture format crop then take it or move it out of frame nice now let's take this picture put it on the second slide on the front a little bit to the left crop then move it out of its frame and finally you can change the numbers position as you want so it depends on your content so i'm gonna choose number one for slide one and i'll keep it 11 for the second one and i'll pick the number 16 for the third one so one last step i'm gonna create the first slide or the intro slide you can skip this part so let's move the content out of frame right there then let's move the numbers to the center and make them big so they are not visible and let's move the circle and the arrowhead and the visual to the center right there and with that we can say we are all done so let's see i think the numbers are a little bit static so what i'm gonna do here is to change the rotation right there and now i think they will be better nice now we can say we are all done so this is it for today's tutorial you will find the link to the presentation on the description box and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and ciao